First, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Uh, thank you. Um, good evening. I think you want to change my ministry. You want to change I, I, I'm ministry sorry. Of I said, and religious affairs. For, forgive me. Tra- <laughs> <laughs> forgive me. Religious but affairs. Yes, and but, but it deals with tradition too. Fantastic. So I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I just that I mis- miscommunicated. And, and, in, and interestingly, I'm the caretaker minister for tourism, I think, uh, culture right now. Oh. Before the uh, members of parliament passed my... Um, at the appointees of the president. Then you are properly clothed to, to, to deal with this matter, except the, maybe the gender part. That one, that one too is vacant. I don't know. Maybe you want to take that one too. Thank you. I don't want that. I'm okay with this one. But I'm, I'm getting one pay, one pay for two jobs. I know, right? It's a problem. Is anyway, I'm glad. to the country and to, uh, to, the, to, to God. It is all good, sir. It is all good. Um, This controversy around a marriage or a union or a betrothal, I mean, first of all, your ministry, you deal with our chieftaincy and traditional matters. Culture is important. We respect that. Our constitution respects that. However, there appears to be a clash between the culture and the uh, particular issue of the constitution against marrying minors and even the Children's Act. How are we dealing or how should we deal with this particular issue that's emerging from Nongwa as a state? Thank you very much once again. Um, it's been a very hectic weekend for me, especially, because uh, everybody seems to be wanting to speak to me, and I'm trying to unravel most of them myself. Um, of course, the, the news that came out was a bit uh, worrying, um, and for me, the state's uh, concern is the welfare of the minor, uh, whom initially we heard was 12 years old. We were very, very worried. Um, my latest information, which you obviously have, is that um, she is um, almost 16. Um, July the 16th, or July somewhere, she will be 16. Um, so uh, they, they, we all got confused from the beginning. But whatever it is, she's still a minor. Um, she's uh, under 18. So as for marriage matters, she doesn't come in at all. So when we picked up that signal, we had to move in quickly and, and unravel the whole thing. And we've done a lot of work um, over Sunday, yesterday, and today. As I speak to you now, I'm leaving a, a very uh, a hectic meet not hectic, I mean, very emergency meeting. Um, we've, we've already had an interministerial coordination meeting, um, which my, my young brother, but he's a minister for interiors, <laughs> in terms of politics, I've been in longer than him, but he's my younger brother too. And which, whose office we met, and we've done some talking. Um, I've also met the traditional authorities uh, and also try and understand what's going on. Um, when when tradition clashes with uh, statutes or it 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 it, 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 it pitches against statutes, then we got to unravel and and make sure the state is run to the to, to the best of peace and and tranquility we all want. Um, and so we we have to understand each other. There are areas which are gray areas, and indeed that's where my job comes in as a minister for children's religion. It's a very complex area, but it's to try and make sure nobody falls foul to the law. But if you fall foul to the law, the law catches up with you, and that's it. There's nothing anybody can do about it. But also importantly, the tradition that I also uphold is such that I need to uh, also respect the authority of the traditional authorities and make sure there are pillars that we respect and they can also help in governance and development. So <clears throat> I've done a lot of work. I'm still on it. Um, I just left a meeting, um, uh, but I don't want to go into the details. But we, I'm talking to the police. I'm talking to the interior minister. I'm talking to my colleague ministers. Um, we would, we'll get to the bottom at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I would then be able to report firmly what the, the position is. Well, have As you... I speak to you now, with those the fire, the, the welfare of the, of the child is secure. She's in a safe place, which I have, I know where it is, but unfortunately I can't put it on air. Um, so, and we know she's happy, she's okay. Um, but there are traditional areas that, or traditional things that uh, needs to be understood well. And but my understanding so far is that we need to talk to the the parties, the Ulomo, uh, the Nungwa Manche, uh, some elders, which have done today and i need to get back to my colleagues and then we can take a position very well you said that the girl is safe and well does it mean she's no more in the in the fetish priest's abode she's never been in the fetish priest's abode 
from so after, my after the marriage on the weekend, she was not taken to his residence? At, or? at all. At all. Not at all. She was not taken to a residence. She's actually, from my information, with a, a, a senior woman, uh, which they call a queen mother. Um, and she performs the, the traditional rites. Um, but that is what, where we were worried that uh, we don't know where she will be in the middle of the night or whatever. So let's take her out. So um, we, uh, she's been taken out, and the Ghana Police Service have done a job this morning uh, at dawn, which uh, was, I mean, I I stayed up almost last night. Mm. Um, and so the, the child's welfare was my concern. We saw okay. that. The, so that's the initial long, so short term. The long term, medium to long term, is to find the answers to the tradition. Where it, it it crashes with statues, statues over overtakes it, um, and and any criminality must be looked at. So we are, we're doing a lot of talking. Now, so as you may well know, Attorney General has come in, uh, but we have to cover the angles before we move. Very well. Now the key issue is that for a marriage to be legal and valid, it should have, it should have been consummated. Do you know? Uh, because you said that she was not with the traditional priest. Do you know whether there's any? interaction around whether or not this marriage has been consummated since Saturday that we saw it? Um, I don't know. I wish I was a witch. <laughs> <laughs> or I was a prophet. So I can I can read what you are trying to ask me. Um, but what I can say from my information that uh, no consummation has taken place. That's what I have been told. But of course, I'm not an expert. Um, so I am relying on other people and my colleagues so we can unravel some of them. Which means um, that the, 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 the argument that it was a betrothal and not a marriage may hold it, then? It, it, it may hold, it may hold. It may hold, but I would not, as I said, as of now, we, I'm still not going to put my foot down. Um, I would want to get back to my colleagues and they also picking up some signals. Mm. Then I will compare the notes I picked up with my discussion with the, uh, the Nuhulomo, with the Nungwa uh, Mancha and the elders, uh, and then with my registrars across uh, the region, then we can compare most, then we know the truth, we can find the, uh, the clear path in the middle. Very so what I hear may not be what my colleagues have heard. Very well. Finally, sir, before you go, I heard you earlier somewhere saying that you would have to go visit the priest himself because he is not allowed to cross certain lagoons and come to Accra to meet you. Were you able to go meet him? Yeah, that one I can tell you. You know me, I tell you the truth. I, I've, I've met him. You've met him? I've met him, yes. I've met him. So which means you went to Nungwa. What is his mood like? What is his spirit like? Uh, um, I, I've known him <clears throat> over years myself. Um, so he's not a stranger to me. Um, and um, I met him today. He opened up and, and, and gave me insight uh, into the uh, tradition. Because you know the... The Ga tradition also differs from area to area. Even within the same Nungwa, uh, there are about eight uh, states or, or uh, clans. Uh, and, and sometimes you don't even know what constitutes the, the rights of one clan. Um, if you take the Osu, uh, different from the same day, they're, they're different from La, different from English Alata. And so the Akra area, you've got to be careful how you handle the place. Uh, you got to understand and respect each other, but uh, you, but the common trend is that it doesn't clash with statutes, and this is the line I'm taking. And based on and what your that, friend what your friend told you, um, the marriage was it a marriage? Was it a betrothal? Has he done it? Has he not done well, it? Was he taken as a wife? So far, what I've been picked up so far, I think it may well be the videos on the things we saw uh, where, where, where people who were acting they didn't understand what they were doing and probably took like a, a, a simple matter or a joke or something. Um, but what I have picked up so far, um, as I said, is that there are traditional things which they were going to. And indeed, apparently it wasn't even the, the, the Saturday event that we have heard. Apparently it started about a week ago. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so so it's just coming to light now. Uh -huh. It's because the public thing came out on Saturday, everybody is just sitting up. But the, the matter is that about a week ago, the thing started. And indeed, apparently, he, uh, the, uh, a formal invitation to witness this Saturday went out. And so uh, there were doctors, there were police were there, there, there were the, the community people. So uh, I, it, it wasn't like anything to high secret. And it wasn't like a marriage from what I've heard. But as I said, I cannot put my foot down now because. I am picking up some angle. Um, like, for instance, we all heard that she was 12. Then today my colleague came back and said, no, the girl was born in July 19, uh, 20, um, I think, what, 20, 
16 this July. Mm. Meaning mm. she's not 12. Yeah. So we're now trying to pick up certain things. So, so why is she a birth certificate, for instance? Yeah. <laughs> we're, looking, we're looking for it. Which school does she go to? What what record does the school hold? <laughs> so there's a lot of unraveling, but I think uh, the government is taking uh, appropriate actions, which means listening to everybody. Uh, then the legal side is also being covered because we are a state. We can't allow people to do what they like um, against the, the laws of the land. Um, but we have to be sensitive to tradition and know exactly what it's involved. Interesting. I, I, just on the lighter side before you go, uh, is your friend disappointed that his little private ceremony has become a subject of national controversy? It is, it wasn't a private ceremony at all. I think it doesn't, it, I don't think he even thought it was a private ceremony. It's a, it's a tradition, I'm told, goes about 300 years ago and there are precedents. So I was wondering and I put it to the question that is this the first time? He says, no, happened before. I said, well, then you've got to get your, 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 your information right. Um, but whatever it is, that's what I'm picking up. But uh, that, my job is to go down. In fact, I would have wished that I had, you, know, the, the, you would have allowed, or I would have been allowed to unravel this thing quietly, as I always do. In matters of tradition and chief it's not, it's not a public thing I want to discuss. Uh, I hear you can't see it. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of very well. Uh, and that's, uh, that, well, that's my simple approach to this Chief Tensi man. That's why most, uh, you've heard, most places are quiet. Because mm. they respect that you come to them and you understand. If you don't understand, tell you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm. And then they stop. There are some chiefs that tell them, if you misbehave, I'll get you arrested. And they look at me and say, yes, if you misbehave and go this way, you'll we'll be arrested. And you'll be hanged up live on television. And that is the, 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 the ground for the instrument. Then they stop all they're doing. So they're, And I do that quietly. And then they understand. I'm over to the other yeah, kind of democracy. And so let me get. I wish I had been given the opportunity, but this got out of hand. Social media picked up. Everybody has their different version. But at least we've given the right, the chance one to secure the welfare of the of the minor. That's number one, and that's, that's the most important. Number two is to understand the culture and the tradition and situate it well, and then we can explain. Then also allow the police and the security agencies to perform their function. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. Thank you, my brother. That's